Two out of ten high-speed chases like these ones can lead to crashes, even tragedies. And they're not only dangerous, but expensive, with police often on the hook for damages and lawsuits. Only here on 41 Action News, Kat Reed uncovers the price of pursuit. It was January 13, 2014. Independence police officers were pursuing 22-year-old Andrew Stark for speeding. As police pressed pause on their end, Stark sped off. Running a red light and ramming into a car driven by 35-year-old Jason Lewis. Lewis was killed and his two passengers severely injured. But the crash that morning didn't just claim lives. It also led to a settlement of seven $767,500 paid to the passengers in Lewis's car and to his wife. Over the past five years, Independence police chases resulted in payouts totaling $1.1 million. We are always reevaluating our policies. Officer John Syme of the Independence Police Department couldn't comment directly on the payments, but did sit down with 41 Action News to talk about their chase policy. Everything we do, we just want to get better at what we're doing. Without turning around and saying we're not going to chase bad guys anymore. Their current policy says officers can still go after suspects for misdemeanors and traffic offenses, but those pursuits must be avoided or stopped if they, quote, pose unnecessary risk to life or property. The policy takes into account the fact that departments don't just face lawsuits. They're also on the hook for property damage during chases. In Independence, insurance only covers damage over $10,000. Anything less comes out of the city's coffers. From 2012 to 2017, they paid out more than $23,000 in property and auto body damage. I mean, that's, that's a lot of money. One of those payments went to Kyle Stick. He was driving with his wife down Truman Road last May when he saw two police cars stopped ahead. He didn't realize at the time he was caught in the middle of a police pursuit for a man in a stolen car. As soon as you ran over the stop sticks, it just instantly deflated all the four tires. Those stop sticks meant to stop suspects, but that day they stopped stick instead. And there is definitely a chance of another vehicle coming in and uh, blowing out their tires. Our officers are trained to pull them out immediately. Things don't always work that way, though. There, there are always some side issues that occur. Independence isn't alone. In 2014, the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department settled two lawsuits for $625,000. With insurance figured in, KCK shelled out $250,000 for the two chases in which innocent bystanders were killed. One was 62-year-old Graciela Olivas, the other 8-year-old Jasmine Rodriguez. As a result of their deaths, the department decided it would only chase those wanted for serious felonies. But in May of last year, that changed again. Officers can once again pursue for all crimes. Bad guys knew that we're not chasing people. That's a horrible message. When we sat down with Chief Terry Ziegler in October, he stood by the change, even after two people were killed in a crash while fleeing from police. That young man made decisions that cost two people their lives, and uh, that's... That's not, our, that's not our fault. A spokesman tells us their policy is not under review. In Independence, there have also been changes since the crash that killed Lewis. A new technology called Star Chase allows officers to track suspects with GPS instead of high-speed chases. The department nabbed 133 criminals that way from 2016 to 17. We know it's our job to catch the bad guys. Yeah, we just have to be smarter about it. And I think we are. We're doing that. But if chases continue to lead to property damage and lawsuits, the price of pursuit may come out of your pocket. Reporting in Independence, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. We did request numbers from Kansas City, Missouri police, but the clerk says they couldn't recall any payments made in the last 10 years, and they also don't compile this information in one specific database.